Hey Brain Booster family, welcome back to part 2 of our system design series. Today, we're diving into chapter 2, back of the envelope estimation. This is a must-know skill for system design interviews and real-world engineering. So, what is back of the envelope estimation? It's a technique for making quick, approximate calculations to understand the scale and requirements of a system. It's not about being precise but about getting a ballpark figure to guide decision making. Think of it as a way to make informed guesses when you don't have all the details. Why is this important? It helps you understand the scale of the problem, like how much storage, bandwidth, or computing power you'll need. It's useful for making trade-offs and prioritizing resources. It shows your ability to think critically during system design interviews. Let's break down the key concepts and techniques for back of the envelope estimation. A. Powers of 10 and approximations, use powers of 10 to simplify calculations. For example, 1 million equals 10 to the power of 6, 1 billion equals 10 to the power of 9. Round numbers to make calculations easier. For example, 3.2 million can be approximated as 3 million. B. Breaking down the problem. Break the problem into smaller, manageable parts. For example, if estimating storage for a photo sharing app, number of users, number of photos uploaded per user per day, average size of a photo. Multiply these factors to get the total storage required. This approach makes complex problems easier to tackle. C. Using known benchmarks, leverage real-world data to make reasonable assumptions. For example, average size of a photo, 2 megabytes. Average size of a tweet, 0.3 kilobytes. Average size of a video, 100 megabytes for one minute of HD video. Decalculating storage requirements. Let's estimate the storage needed for a photo sharing app with 1 million users. Assumptions. Each user uploads five photos per day. Average photo size, 2 megabytes. Calculation. Daily uploads, 1 million users asterisk five photos equals 5 million photos. Daily storage, 5 million photos asterisk 2 megabytes equals 10 terabytes. Annual storage, 10 terabytes per day asterisk 365 days equals 3.65 petabytes. E-calculating bandwidth requirements. Let's estimate the bandwidth required for a video streaming app with 1 million daily active users. Assumptions. Each user watches 5 videos per day. Average video size, 100 megabytes. Calculation. Daily data transfer, 1 million users asterisk 5 videos asterisk 100 megabytes equals 500 terabytes. Bandwidth required, 500 terabytes per day divided by 86,400 seconds approximately equals 5.8 gigabyte per second. F calculating compute requirements. Let's estimate the number of servers needed for a social media app with 10 million daily active users. Assumptions. Each user makes 10 requests per day. Each request takes 50 milliseconds to process. A single server can handle 1,000 requests per second. Calculation. Total requests per day. 10 million users asterisk 10 requests equals 100 million requests. Requests per second. 100 million divided by 86,400 approximately equals 1157 requests. S. Servers required. 1157 divided by 1,000 approximately equals 2 servers, with some margin for peak load. G latency numbers every engineer should know. Here are some approximate latency numbers for common operations. Reading 1 megabyte sequentially from memory, approximately 0.25 milliseconds. Reading 1 megabyte sequentially from SSD, approximately 1 millisecond. Reading 1 megabyte sequentially from HDD, approximately 20 milliseconds. Round trip time within the same data center, approximately 0.5 milliseconds. Round trip time across continents approximately 150 milliseconds. These numbers help you estimate the performance of a system. Now, let's look at some practical examples to see how this works in real-world scenarios. Example 1. Estimating Twitter's storage requirements problem. Estimate the storage required to store all tweets for one year. Assumptions. Number of daily active users, 100 million. Tweets per user per day, 5. Average tweet size, 0.3 kilobytes. Calculation, daily tweets, 100 million users asterisk 5 tweets equals 500 million tweets. Daily storage, 500 million times 0.3 kilobytes equals 150 gigabytes. Annual storage, 
150 gigabytes per day asterisk 365 days equals 54.75 terabytes. Example 2, estimating YouTube's bandwidth requirements problem, estimate the bandwidth required to stream videos on YouTube. Assumptions, number of daily active users, 1 billion, videos watched per user per day, 5, average video size, 100 megabytes. Calculation, daily data transfer, 1 billion users asterisk 5 videos asterisk 100 megabytes equals 500 petabytes. Bandwidth required, 500 petabytes per day divided by 86,400 seconds approximately equals 5.8 terabyte per second. Example 3, estimating Facebook's photo storage problem. Estimate the storage required to store all photos uploaded to Facebook in one year. Assumptions, number of daily active users, 2 billion, photos uploaded per user per day, 2, average photo size, 2 megabytes. Calculation, daily uploads, 2 billion users asterisk 2 photos equals 4 billion photos. Daily storage, 4 billion times 2 megabytes equals 8 petabytes. Annual storage, 8 petabytes per day asterisk 365 days equals 2.92 exabytes. Key takeaways, back of the envelope estimation is a critical skill for system design interviews and real-world engineering. Break down the problem into smaller parts and use reasonable assumptions. Use powers of 10 and round numbers to simplify calculations. Leverage known benchmarks and latency numbers to make informed estimates. Practice with real-world examples to build confidence and accuracy. And that's it for Chapter 2. Back of the Envelope Estimation is a powerful tool to help you think critically and make informed decisions. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.